Okay, so let's look at some of the treatment options that you've got for a tennis elbow. And, and one of the things that I would um, advise to start with, and your physio can do some work on this, is to unload um, the area. So what we want to do is try and take some pressure off the tendon and change that point. Now a lot of the elbow supports that are out there really just grasp around the whole arm. So they don't really have the effect you want. And generally, even with this one, which I've found is the best, it's a clasp that goes halfway around. Um, when you're doing it, you need someone else to help you put them on effectively because just compressing it doesn't really change the load. What you need to do is you need, as you're putting it on, the person to unload that tissue and then place it on so that the soft tissue above where the tendon is, is unloaded. It'll allow the bone to rest, it'll take some pressure, it'll change the load, and it'll mean you can get on with your day-to-day -day stuff without as many problems. And it really helps the early management of what's going on. So definitely use the support to help the pain management, but use somebody to help you place it on so that you can unload the tissue and get the best benefit from it. Okay? Secondary to that, what we tend to find is that a lot of people have a lack of supination. So supination, so as pronation, supination, as you come up, they'll tend to want to rotate the arm. Um, if you find you can't do that, then that's certainly something that we need to work on. Um, with the modern world, because we sit at computers with our hands like this most of the day, we tend to shorten through here, lengthen through here because of the rotation factor. And so it makes it a struggle to turn the hand over. It's a very easy way to check this. So we do a wall walk. So we get Sandy to turn around and face the wall. And if you place your hands on the wall, so start nice and low, bring your feet in just a little bit closer. That's it, great. And then you should be able to get your fingers flat on the wall, facing the ground with your elbow fully straight. And then what you do is you just walk your hand. So you just slide your fingers, bend your elbow, and then bend the elbow, that's it and you just keep going up, so keep going up. Now Sandra's got quite a lot of flexibility through her elbows so she can get a reasonable weight. Should be able to get up to around about chin height without too many problems. Again, you can see here, the fingers are nice and straight, facing down towards the ground, the elbows fully straight, so we've got good range from those flexes, but if they're tight or you're struggling, particularly on the side that the problems are, that's a nice easy way. Walk up to where you feel that tension, hold it, Keep that, the palms pressed firmly against the wall, come down, shake it off, and go again. It'll take you a couple of weeks to release it, but it'll really change what's happening through there. Okay, bring your arms down, and then turn around to face me. Uh, and then a final thing to do, if you are tight there, obviously the supinators are going to be weak. So you can grab some TheraBand, if you pop your palms to the ground, that's it, elbows in to the sides. Now when you're doing this, you want to rotate, so don't pull harder. So can you just take your hands a bit closer so there's a bit more tension? Okay, that's it, there we go. Keep your elbow nice and still, and I want you to rotate the hand up, so we're pivoting on a point, and again back. That's it, and again. Good, so you can see we're getting a nice pure rotation. Temptation is to pull out, so you're using your shoulder, or to extend your wrist because you're trying to compensate the fact that it's weak through this area. So you can work through that. We should be looking at doing 60 seconds of work two or three sets to try and help set the things down. So there are a couple of things that you can do. A, a, a final thing which you're gonna need to do uh, within a, a clinic that has a shockwave uh, machine is shockwave can be really effective in the early stages to kickstart that process of settling the pain down, getting the healing, going so that we can move into the next phase. Again, if you've looked at the other tendinopathy uh, videos that we've done, we need to do the strengthening and the loading of the tendon. It's a really super important part of what we do uh, and what you need to do to make sure that not only you're selling the pain down, but you're getting yourself to a better place longer term. Okay, so I hope that helps. See you soon.